Joanna, good evening, and thanks for your time. A wake-up call for me, because I'm very lazy with this. I barely check these statements, and this is a particular reason I have to. Tell us, what are the things we should be looking out for as consumers, uh, especially in light of the complaints that you've been dealing with? Well, the complaints are varied, mm. but I think the bottom line is that it shows consumers are not looking at these statements. They pick up a mistake um, two, three years later. Um, maybe, say, for example, a reduction in payment, mm. which they didn't ask for. And, of course, you know, there's a consequences to a reduction in your monthly payment. Yeah. You know, it will extend the period, more interest, and they don't pick it up. They don't notice that there's a smaller amount going off their ba uh, bank account. They don't check their statements. So we see this kind of thing all the time, um, and we, we classify that as maladministration. Mm. We also see that consumers have uh, interactions with their bankers, uh, which they initiate, uh, maybe they have struggle, um, they can't pay, they want to make an arrangement, mm. but then nothing is in writing. And misunderstandings can happen. And then a few years later, we have to listen to those telephone recordings to, to try and decide what was really agreed. Yeah. Um, so we're just urging people to please put those things in writing and then also check afterwards, after you've made an arrangement, is that really what you've asked for? And, I mean, those are just some of the things that we see happen on a daily basis. So are there any particular banks that are particularly guilty of this or is it all of them? No, it's across the board. Mm. Um, so we haven't s seen that any specific bank stands out. Um, but, you know, 40% of our complaints where there's an allegation that there's something wrong, um, of course, not, we're not saying that all, all of those cases are found in favor yeah. of the customers, but there's at least enough for us to investigate um, so that we can see what really happened. Mm. So if you can give us some idea of what are some of the transactions that you talk about re repayments, are, are we talking about bonds mostly, is, is it home loans? What exactly, where are you seeing this happen mostly? Was it big amounts? Um, no, it could be small amounts, monthly repayments that are not correct. Mm. Um, we can see it on bond accounts, but we can also see it on personal loan accounts. Mm. We've seen a, a number of complaints on personal loans, credit cards, um, uh, you know, and as also on the bonds, where the repayment amounts were not correct mm. uh, and where there was a change. You know, maybe somewhere along the line, the customer skipped one month and then there was a rearrangement, and then the rearrangement was a mess. Um, so, you know, and, and nobody checked. A few years later, they see, but you know what, what we arranged there five years ago, three years ago, was never implemented. But we also see other things that, you know, um, the banks sometimes don't send consumers notice that they're going to put a hold on the account. They don't send them notices that they're going to close their accounts. Mm. And those are the kinds of things that should happen, and we, we receive those complaints as well. So can you give our consumers uh, an idea of how you actually go about laying a complaint to get, yeah. get it well, right with we, you? We, we try and make it as easy as possible. So we always advise people to, if you have a problem, or if you suspect a problem, go to the bank. But if they reach us first and they haven't been to the bank, we will assist them and send their complaint on their behalf to the bank mm. so that there's an investigation. Um, most of the time, those matters are resolved, mm. but in 6,000 matters, they were not resolved. And the consumers asked us to investigate the matter because they were not happy with the outcome. Mm. Um, so, yes, they can contact us on email. Telephonic will take complaints. Um, we've got a website. Um, so it's quite easy to, to reach us, and once mm. they reached us, we will assist them to log a complaint with their own bank. Ariana, very quickly for us, what are, in resolving this, what's the end result? Are they getting uh, money back? Are they being compensated? Are the banks being wrapped over the knuckles for this? Are there any penalties for the banks? Is that within your powers? I'm not sure. Yes, uh, it definitely is. Um, most of the time, there's a correction. So if, there's, if there is maladministration, if something went wrong and it was the bank's fault, they will correct it. So whatever financial correction there has to be, they make that. But then sometimes we also make an award for inconvenience and distress, mm. um, which was caused as a result of this. Okay. We can make those awards as well. Okay. All right. Well, thanks very much for that. It's a wake-up call for all of us, including myself, to check those bank statements. Make sure you're not being taken advantage of because times are about to get even tougher. Thank you very much, Rihanna Stein, the banking ombudsman.